what are the common challenges you faced in selenium or what are the common challenges that you have faced in your automation testing journey this is the very common question that you will face when you start attending interviews not only in selenium the moment you start attending interviews for playwright or cypress this is the default question you can expect that tell us the most important or the most common challenges that you have faced in your automation testing automation testing provides huge benefit no doubt about it but it also comes with lot of challenges and everybody faces these challenges but nobody talks about it so let me highlight couple of here the most common ones faced by qa the moment you start automating any web application or even apis the biggest challenge that everybody faces dynamic elements if you talk about any modern applications which is built on new platform or the new different javascript libraries they all have dynamic ids they all have dynamic classes they have dynamic attributes which keeps on changing right sometimes they might appear sometimes they might not appear sometimes it's changing now if you are not writing the locators properly it can break your test in that case you need smart locators you need to use dynamic xpath you need to use dynamic css selectors you have to use weights properly and you have to use robust strategies if you don't use any of them then dynamic elements can break your application and you cannot avoid dynamic elements because nowadays every application deals with dynamic elements that is the first challenge that you will face the moment you start automating your application second most important challenge is sync issues or you can synchronization issues many times the moment you start working with modern applications sometimes elements come within few seconds sometimes element might not appear immediately right because of the ajax call or maybe the java script is not loading properly so if your automation is faster than the app then you might not get the desired result or you might get no such element exception or any different weird exceptions right for example element not interactable exception for example the elements are still loading or animating if you're not handling the sync properly then you will be getting different exceptions so in order to overcome this exception you need to use weights properly i would highly recommend you to use explicit weight fluent weight or you can write your own custom weight to handle this in a dynamic fashion and sync issues is one of the biggest challenge why automation breaks third biggest challenge is cross browser compatibility see the moment you start automating you don't only test on one browser right you might test your application on different browsers so the moment you start automating you might test your application in one browser but the same is kept if you try to run on firefox edge browser safari browser your automation test might break so your automation script should be smart enough to handle the browser issues okay sometimes it could be a scrolling behavior sometimes could be the rendering issue the few elements might render differently on one browser or it will render different in different browser so whenever you are starting your automation please make sure that your script should be compatible with different browsers and this is also one of the biggest challenge that you might have to write some additional piece of code the moment you change your browser fourth challenge is environment stability the moment you start working with uh, different ci cd environments then you might see your test will uh, start failing for example you created one test it is running fine on your local system but the moment you run on cloud or any other ci cd environment it might fail so you have to make sure your script should be stable irrespective of whether you run on local or on the cloud whether you run on local system or any other machine it should run without any failure sometimes you might have slow network different time out issue your automation test must be resilient enough to run your test on different machines under different network conditions whether it's headed mode headless mode this all you have to take care when you are writing your automation scripts and also i have seen that the moment you run your test in headless mode you might get a different result and if you run your test in normal mode you might get a different result you have to capture this also smartly in your script so this is other again a bigger challenge that how your script will run on multi environments fifth biggest challenge is test data management every automation test need your test data right so if you use static data then script might fail in future so you need to take care of the data in a smart fashion you need to come up with a approach how you can take dynamic data so that whether you run your script today or even 5 years after uh, script creation it should be able to take data dynamically your static data will work for some time but the moment you run your script multiple time it will fail so make sure you adopt strategies which can generate the data dynamically for you for your test cases so dynamic data generation 
is a big issue, but it can be handled smartly with proper libraries. Six biggest challenges, parallel execution and test flakiness. So the moment you start working, your script will run sequentially, right? And it's working fine. The moment you start running your test parallelly across multiple threads, across multiple browsers, thread safety becomes one of the biggest challenge. But again, if you use thread local or thread synchronization, it can be handled easily. But in interviews, you have to tell parallel execution is one of the biggest challenge when it comes to automation testing. Because the moment you have test, they might be having some shared resources. They will be having some shared data, which can cause this flaky test. So your framework has to address this issue and you have to implement proper thread synchronization in order to avoid all of this. Seven challenges, complex UI and DOM. Nowadays, you have many different applications. You have frames, you have nested frames, you have shadow domes, you have nested shadow domes. So if you don't handle them properly, again, your test will not be stable. So you need to take care how you can handle all these advanced components and how you can handle them efficiently. So you will be using different techniques for this. If you are using Selenium, Cypress or Payright, your strategy might change, but make sure you take care of all the advanced components which is coming in the market. We also have virtual dome. We also have hidden dome. So you need to take care of all of this. And this is again a big challenge. If you are as a beginner, you might have to spend some extra time to understand about shadow dome, frames, hidden shadow dome and so on. The biggest nightmare of Automation Engineer is maintenance. That is our next issue. That maintenance of automation script is a big task. Sometimes your UI is getting changed. Sometimes your locators are getting changed because of the dynamic attributes and so on. So you need to have a frequent script maintenance. So whenever you are building any script, make sure you take care of maintenance in advance. Write proper tests, write proper weights, write proper locators. So a good framework design and locator strategy are needed if you want to reduce maintenance. Otherwise, it will become the nightmare for you. You might spend most of the time in the maintenance instead of writing more tests. Next challenge can be integration. There are multiple CI/CD tools in the market, right? Jenkins, GitHub Actions, Team City, Bamboo. So whenever you have to set up a test with different uh, CI/CD servers in headed mode, in headless mode, it can be is it can be one of the challenge. But if you know the tools properly, it can be done smoothly as well. So handling browser versioning across CI/CD platforms, driver compatibility, proxy issues, network throttling, this can be one of the challenge when it comes to automation testing. And the last point is non-functional testing. Now let's say if you are doing Selenium, Cypress or Playwright, you will be focusing more on the functional part, right? So in order to test performance, you need a different tool. In order to test security, you need a different tool. So integration between these tools can be a little challenging at activity sometimes. So whenever you build a pipeline, you have to integrate with uh, all these different tools, right? So integration with JMeter, Lighthouse, Zep, it can bring additional complexity. So I hope you got the clarity. So these are the frequently challenges faced by every QA. So I thought I will quickly cover this. So totally we have discussed 10 points. So make sure you at least explain five to six. If you are able to explain 10, it's good, but at least try to explain five to six so that they will get enough clarity that yes, you have worked on the real time as well. So if you are not able to connect with any of the point, let me know in the comment section. I can make another video on this. And if you're looking for any other video, let me know in the comment section. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel, share with your friends and colleagues, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.